Hello and welcome to my channel. I am the Psych Auto Score, and today we'll be looking over the MCMI 4. Uh, th that is the Millen Clinical Multi Axial Inventory 4th Edition, and how we can use an Excel template in order to score it. So, um, if you're interested in this template, go ahead and take a look in the description uh, for a link to it. All right, so the MCMI 4 is a personality test. Uh, it consists of 195 questions that you can see over here. And in order to score it with this template, what you will need to do is first enter in a one for true or a zero for false for your patient responses. Uh, if you're not sure what you're supposed to be entering here, uh, if you do this down, uh, this drop down right here, you can do a zero, one, or no answer. All right, so uh, as you can see, these areas are blank over here. Uh, that's because there are formulas in them, and all you have to do is enter in a zero for false, a one for true, and 195 times over here for each item number. Um, once you do that, it'll calculate the raw score, the percentile, and the base rate for each scale. Uh, the scales are listed both by their uh, the shortened versions and by their longer versions on the right-hand side. Um, I do have a list of scores over here. <clears throat> uh, that won't be available to you, but I have them just for demonstration purposes. Uh, I have tested these against the uh, norms inside the uh, manuals, but what you'll do is you'll enter in the values over here, uh, and it will automatically and very quickly calculate um, all of the raw scores, percentiles, and base rates. Um, a couple of features just to pay attention to. Uh, we do have this no answer up here. This means it's counting the times that there's a blank space left over here. Um, also to point out, there's a second entry column. You don't need to fill this out, but if you're entering these by hand, it's a good idea just to just enter it twice, and this will compare and contrast the results. So uh, if we were to enter things, right, so I was re-entering it, I'd enter it 0, 0, 0, and if I accidentally clicked another 0, it would stay red, and that'd be indicating that I miskeyed an entry, and I can quickly go back and see uh, which one was wrong there. So just like that, I see that's red. Oh, I can go back, double check and that answer, and see that I miskeyed it. Um, if it's all the same, whoops. we'll see that they'll all be green values. Um, additionally, once you enter in these, uh, these patient responses, then it'll give you this information. It'll also give you the validity scales as well as the noteworthy responses. I do have some conditional formatting going on in the background that'll turn red if it is seen as, um, as an invalid result. If it is invalid, or if my specifications aren't up for you, you can you can change the conditional values there, or the conditional formatting for it. Um, there is the noteworthy responses as well. Uh, basically, it'll show you which items uh, a patient endorsed that contribute towards these different scales. Um, if you see commas, that's okay. That means they just didn't have anything that was endorsing that specific scale. Um, or, you know, in this case for the patient, you can see that he did endorse one, two, three, four items that were, that were uh, conducive of autism spectrum disorder. So, that being said, uh, we do have scales for the personality pattern, uh, Grossman facet scales, the clinical syndrome scales, the validity scales, and then those noteworthy responses. Uh, additionally, once we enter in these uh, patient responses, it will automatically create these graphs for us. Uh, those are aligned with the personality pattern scales, the clinical syndrome scales, the validity scales, and the gross and facet scales. There are these horizontal um, lines here, and these are helping us to see when the um, when the the base rate goes over the uh, different thresholds, so for style, type, and disorder. Um, and we can quickly see which three this patient had the highest of, so we can see they had antisocial, uh, masochistic, and the uh, avoidant. Um, um, 
elevations in his testing. All right, well, I hope you found this very helpful. And again, if you're interested in using this product, you can go ahead and check it out in the link in the description. All right, thank you very much.